This is the original location of the Barbara Stoppel murder, which happened in 1981. And it's been years ago, I mean, this exact time, between 825 and 835, and it's 825 right now. Her hair is starting our EVP in the time period. I believe it would have been in this first few minutes that Barbara was strangled because he left the building by 8.35. So he had to have had at least one minute or so to leave the building. So, Barbara, are you here with us? Is anyone here with us? Anyone? Got lots of background noise happening, but we're hoping we can make that white noise. Anything that's here, would you speak directly into the microphone's voice, please? Is there anyone here with us? Did you die here? If anyone is here with us, can you make a noise, like a knock? Did you die here? What is your name? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Terry, is there, are you here? Terry Arnold. Terry, if you're here, did you murder Barbara? Is there anyone here? <laughs> but we're going to play this back. We have to rush to another location. But we're going to play this back and get it online as soon as possible so you can listen to it and see if we pick anything up. Either way, we will post it so that the site can see the actual location of the murder wall. Renovated bathroom, but nonetheless, this would be a spot 33 years ago that Robert Silva was murdered, and we know it by Carrie Arnold, and Thomas Upton did time for that murder, um, for crime he didn't commit, and while he was in prison, Carrie Arnold was allowed to continue on murdering the street, so still on. Winnipeg's most infamous unsolved murders, and hope we pick something up this evening. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.